The wartime had seen a great resurgence in fishing, and it was mainly herring fishing. Now all the fish at that time that was landed in Gearloch would go straight onto a lorry and go to the market. I started driving with the herring lorries, but I'd be 17, 18. And I mean, in them days, there would have been a lot of herring coming out of Gearloch. There might have been 10, 12 lorries in Gearloch. Started loading at six, seven, eight o'clock at night, and you could be still loading at 11, and you had to deliver that next morning in hell. That was 18 hours driving. The traffic commissioners wouldn't have been very happy, never did. I might get booked for that. <laughs> As the years passed, the herring were in decline. I saw the, the ruination of the herring stocks. I once, I remember driving along the side of Loch Broom, and there were 56 factory ships and there's no fish stock on earth would have stood that level of exploitation. They'd just cleaned the place out of herring and the whitefish started coming in, spring cod fishing and that was just wee boats. And there'd be boats coming from along the coast there, Alligan, Torridon, Applecross and they'd all be at the cod fishing together here. It was a right busy time. And that would be January, February and the, the boats would come, you get four boxes of this boat and three boxes of the next boat or six of the next and you were standing there on the freezing cold on the pier. My father was always cod fishing, which was a, a great thing because there was a lot of cod in yellow. I can remember one particular day, he would be away before seven in the morning and this was just a boat with two of them in it, you know, not a big boat. And Came home at quarter to twelve at night, and his words when he came in was, "I'm silly with fish." I just had such a huge catch, and from that year onwards, I think the cod fishing in Gearloch was deteriorating. Somehow, the control of fishing was never properly thought out. The big boats then started on the whitefish, and they would land. Maybe had a hundred, a hundred and ten boxes of whitefish. It's the same thing. All these big boats just dried up the sea of whitefish. Well, things changed a lot. There was plenty of fish around here then, where, where there's nothing now really to fish. 